Hi guys, this is Stephanie with scrappingwithsteffi.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a slider card using the Sky is the Limit stamp set. In the description below I've included a list of all the supplies I used to create this card as well as a link to my blog which gives more details. My blog also has information on how to earn this stamp set free during celebration now through February 15th. I started with a tempting turquoise panel and I pulled out my Whisper White craft ink and I used the little heart cloud image from the stamp set. I stamped that just a little below center and a little tiny bit to the left of the center of the panel. I put the panel in my cloudy days embossing folder and then I ran that through the big shot. I found a piece of green polka dotted paper in my scrap pile which I used with the ovals framelits to create my heels. I just cut out one oval image and I kind of cut it in half as you'll see here uh, to create the two heels. I like to use the liquid glue when I'm um, gluing anything down to an embossed surface. I just feel like the liquid kind of gets in there a little better and, and gives a better hold than any other adhesives. I just flipped the panel over and used my scissors to cut along the bottom of the panel so that way I can use that second piece there to create my second hill and only had to use one little piece of the uh, pattern paper. So I went ahead and added some more liquid glue here and, and put on this second hill um, just lining up the edge of the hill with the edge of the panel so the hills kind of overlapped. I grabbed a scrap piece of tinting turquoise paper and I used my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I stamped the airplane image onto the tempting turquoise paper. I used some scissors to fussy cut the plane. Plane down on my card um, where I wanted it to be when the slider was open. And then I just used a pencil and I made a little X. Um, so that when I cut out the slider panel, I knew how far I wanted to go. I used the word window punch and I lined up the outer edge with my X so I knew where the plane would stop on the slider. And then I punched it twice, once here and then once more to the right, I just lined up the, the edge again with the other edge that I punched so I had to slide all the way across the card. I used two one inch circle punches to create the pool on the slider. I just you put some snail on them and then adhered them to my slider panel, kind of in the center but just, just a tad above center. So I put the one on the front here and then I put the other one on the back. Um, and, and lined it up so that there was no overhang on either of them and just glued them together so it had a nice good seal, a nice, it was adhered really well because it's going to have a lot of um, pull on it so I didn't want it to come off when someone was pulling the card to, to move the slider. I used one inch circle punches for the pop-up as well to put the airplane on and, and then to adhere to the slider to, to move the plane. Um, I just kind of folded them in half with a little uh, base there, I guess you could say. Um, and I did that on each of them. I just scored it a little bit so that it was easy to fold. And then I just glued those together with some liquid glue. Again, I want a strong adhesive here. I want a strong hold because the plane's going to be attached to this and the slider card. And so if it gets hung up or something, I don't want it to come off. I used 
use this Stampin' Dimensional and put it on the base or the pop-up um, and put attach my plane to it. I wanted to make sure that the base wasn't going to show um, underneath the plane when it was on the card so I kind of stuck it in the middle there and, and basically just because it's the biggest part of the plane and it was going to cover uh, the whole little vanilla circle base. Um, and then I stuck the other end through the panel there as you can see in the slider and I was lining everything up. I wanted to um, stamp a sentiment on the slider panel so I needed to make sure that when I slid it out my sentiment was going to show but the plane was going to be in the right spot so that's kind of what I'm doing here and then I just used a dimensional again to add um, the panel onto attach it to the plane and and make sure it was gonna work and still kind of lining it up here it, it was a little hard I had to make sure I cut my slider panel shorter or smaller than the, the base so I finally decided there was going to be good it was going to slide all the way in and slide out and it would still show uh, my sentiment and this sentiment is also from the sky is the limit stamp set and I just stamped that with the memento black ink So this is probably the most critical part of this card. Um, I use Stampin' Dimensionals to add the whole panel onto the card base. But when you add the dimensionals, you only want to add it um, along the bottom and, and the top of the card as well as the left hand side of the card panel. Uh, you want to make sure that there's plenty of room between the dimensionals. Um, and the top and the bottom so that your panel will slide so you just have to be careful not to um, stick your dimensional somewhere that your your panel is going to get stuck when you're moving it so you can see I'm kind of lining everything up here and I'm putting the, the dimensionals almost flush with the edge of the cards uh, to give myself room um, to slide the panel and then the dimensionals will give uh, almost like a track for your panel so it'll kind of slide in and out kind of straight rather than just kind of all crooked and wonky. And lastly, I just adhered the card front to the card base. I just centered it on the, the card base there. I wanted to check to make sure my slider worked well and it didn't snag up and it, it slid smoothly. And once I did that, I just pushed down on the dimensionals to adhere the, the card front and folded the card base in half. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you.